Hello again adventurers, welcome to another exciting video from Gran Canaria Island and today we're gonna be exploring amazing cliffy mountains in Tamadaba Nature Reserve. Let's get into the vlog! So we are starting our hike in village San Pedro in western side of Gran Canaria and as soon as you get out of the car you can see these amazing high cliffs peeking out behind the town and they are part of Tamadaba Nature Reserve where we are heading for a nice hike. Tamadaba Natural Park is one of the Grand Canaria's most pristine areas. Its 7,500 hectares stretch from highlands down to the coast and fast west of the island within the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. You can choose between forests of indigenous canary pine trees, the steep, almost inaccessible cliffs where we are right now, and the rich biodiversity of its valleys. Tamadaba is an enormous massif which unites the ecosystem of the precipitous cliffs of Aden Verde and the cracks and slopes of Guaedra. It is also possible to observe unusual rock formations due to erosion known as God's Finger. nesting area for several endemic species of birds such as the blue caffinch of Gran Canaria and the greater spotted woodpecker. The exceptional canary setter can also be observed in the park as well as some endemisms such as Tay de Daisy and the lengua de pajaro. Right in about one hour of hiking from San Pedro town we got to this flat area where there was two crossroads. One path was going on the right, just following under these steep cliffs and the other one was just going straight up, zigzagging through these steep cliff and after a few hundred meters of elevation, it gets out on the Tamadaba Plateau where you can see the pine tree forests. I'm flying the drone near the system of caves, but the path to it got eroded. The legend says the aboriginals used to live here.
point of the park is Pico de la Bandera with 1444 meters above sea level. You can see by the cloud cover of these peaks that this area receives more rain than other areas, especially the coastline. Start forming at about 1000 meters above sea level. We had some more time during the day, we decided to go for another little hike near the village El Sao, where you have this little path connecting to the village El Hornillo, and on the way you can see again amazing cliffs, vegetation and even few caves. adventures that's it for today exploring the tamadaba nature reserve i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more similar adventures and as always stay healthy and stay adventurous <laughs>